In this experiment, you will be looking at the Hoffmeister effect on polymer solubility. In this video, we will be talking about the theory behind the experiment and how enthalpy and entropy play into the Gibbs equation. The Gibbs equation is simply delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Let's break down the Gibbs equation into different components. First, we have the left-hand side, delta G. This is a measure of the free energy of a process. It deals with how a process can require energy or release energy, along with the spontaneity of the process. If delta G is less than zero for a process, meaning a negative value, the process is spontaneous. If delta G is greater than zero, meaning a positive value, that means the process is not spontaneous. Now, on the right-hand side, we have delta H and T delta S. Delta H represents enthalpy, also known as heat. Delta S represents entropy, also known as disorder. Let's go into further details about enthalpy and entropy for the process you will see in this experiment. First, let's look at enthalpy. Enthalpy of a solution can be described as the heat transfer as a solute dissolves in a solution. There are four steps in the formation of a solution. First, the solute has to break apart. For an ionic substance such as salt, the ionic bonds between sodium and chloride must be broken. For a molecular compound such as sugar, the intermolecular forces between individual sugar molecules must be broken. This step always requires energy in the form of heat as an input. Therefore, delta H of the solute is always greater than zero. The second step is the breaking of the solvent's intermolecular forces to make room for the solute that is entering the, into solution. Once again, this step always requires energy in the form of heat as one of the inputs, and delta H of solvent is always greater than zero. Third, Intermolecular forces between the newly mixed solute and solvent form. The formation of these forces always releases heat, similarly to how the formation of a chemical bond always releases heat. Therefore, delta H of the mixing is less than zero. Finally, to get the enthalpy of the solution overall, you can use Hess's law, which states that individual steps can be added together to get the overall enthalpy. So that's why the enthalpy of the solution, delta H of solution, equals delta H of the solute plus delta H of the solvent plus delta H of mixing. For a solution where the forces formed by mixing is greater than the forces broken, the process is exothermic and heat is released. That means that delta H of solution is negative and the solution becomes warmer. Inversely, for a solution where the forces formed by mixing is less than the forces broken, the process is endothermic and heat is absorbed. That means this delta H of solution is positive and the solution becomes colder. Now, let's look at entropy. Entropy is a measure of disorder, of chaos in your system. It can be viewed as the number of positions or energy levels that are possible for the system. Entropy for a pure substance is directly proportional to temperature. Entropy increases when changing the physical state from a solid to a liquid to a gas. The solid state has the least entropy, while the gaseous state has the greatest entropy for the, the substance. For a simple pure substance, the pure substance will have a lower entropy, and when you dissolve the simple substance into a thick mixture or a solution, entropy will increase. Now, in the experiment you are performing, when dissolving PNI, PAM, into solution, multiple hydrogen bonds form per monomer unit to stabilize the polymer. This occurs for every monomer, and because the polymer can have thousands of monomers, there are many hydrogen bonds that form during the dissolution process. The formation of the hydro many hydrogen bonds actually decreases the entropy of the system or of the dissolution process. Therefore, the delta S of dissolution for PNI, PAM, or of the, uh, salt over, of the polymers overall is less than zero. 
Now, let's recall the Gibbs equation. Since temperature, expressed in Kelvin, is always positive, and the entropy change for the dissolution process is negative, the minus T delta S term for the dissolution process of PNI, PAM, is always positive for our system. Now, given the fact that PNI, PAM dissolves in water at room temperature, we know that the dissolution process at room temperature is spontaneous. For a spontaneous process, delta G is negative. To make delta G negative for this dissolution process with a positive T delta S term, the enthalpy of this dissolution must be negative. So then, what will happen when the temperature increases? What will happen when there is an ionic compound in solution that can compete with the PNI PAM for salvation by water? The competition between an ionic compound dissolving in water and a polymer dissolving in water is known as the Hofmeister effect. This is what you will be observing and investigating the behavior of in this experiment. 